Hi, so today I'm going to take you through the free version of Krotos Studio. I'm in Pro Tools, I've got a stereo instrument track set up. Let's get started. So what is Krotos Studio? It is a plugin, um, a single place to go to design all sorts of sound effects, um, categories of sound effects and subcategories of sound effects really quickly and easily um, with a simple set of controls. So let's start off by designing a city ambience. So I'm going to load my city preset and straight away it's going to start playing. So this is great at getting you straight into the headspace of this ambience that I'm designing. So what we can do now from the simple set of controls is manipulate the layers that are being generated. So I can turn down the sirens by moving further down on the y-axis by increasing the position on, position on the, of the x-axis here. I'm going to increase the likelihood of horns being introduced and then by moving all the way down to this corner I'm going to reduce the li likelihood of both these layers being introduced. So with a couple of quick adjustments I can set the position of all these layers that the plugin will now generate. Um, the great thing about this technique is that it's going to generate an ever-changing, varying, realistic environment without you having to look for individual files, download, layer, loop, etc. Um, and this will last for any duration that you'd like. So you'll see that as soon as we started playing we had a little capturing icon appear here. So what's happening is that as soon as the, pl the plugin has started a preset or as soon as you started to interact with it, it started to record in the background. So what that means is when I click autoplay off, um, waiting just a second, I will have a bounce icon down here and that means I can click and drag and drag out a stereo bounce of everything that I've been doing whilst we've been talking. So the city ambience that we generated here on the fly has now been recorded and directly from the plugin window I can put this right into my timeline and test it. Okay so let's look at another technique that we can use for ambiences in Project Studio. So loading up a suburbs preset, slightly different scenario. Um, once I've done this now I'm going to create four stereo audio tracks and I'm going to set the input of each of these tracks to a different core engine, a different output from the Proto Studio plugin. So we have four core engines available in this version. Um, and now arming these tracks, I can now record the stems that are being produced from the plugin on the fly. So each layer that's represented here, the birds layer, the traffic layer, the kids layer, the dogs layer, can all be bounced straight out to the timeline as we as we perform, or as we as we as the ambience is being generated. So this is fantastic for handing stems over to a mixer, allowing you to have lots of flexibility. And if I just stop this now, um, if you get feedback of okay, I really like the ambience, but can you please turn the dogs down? This is a really easy way to respond to that feedback. Okay, so what's another way that we can we can we can work with the plugin? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this region of the timeline and I'm going to jump to audio suite. So let's say the next scene was in a forest. So I'll go to audio suite, load up my forest preset. Let's preview. Okay, cool. So same approach again, same idea, same set, similar set of controls, and same concept, but different different scenario different content. So I'm going to adjust the position of these XY pads to give me a bit more stream, maybe not quite that much, a little less wind. Cool, okay, so maybe I'm happy with these elements, how they're interacting, um, how this just sits for, for my scene. Okay, so now I'm going to render, and we'll see that immediately of that exact duration that's specified, we've created a high quality, realistic, uh, varying non-looping stereo atmos at really a high speed. So just looked at three techniques there very very quickly for generating ambiences using Crotox Studio. Okay so what else can we do with the plugin? So um, adding it again to my track I'm going to jump to a footsteps preset. Now simply by clicking in the XY pad here I can move between different surfaces. So I can mimic the performance of my character as they're moving over various um, 
surfaces in, in this particular environment. I can adjust the pitch or pan of these things as well. Um, and then in, as we saw in the ambiences, as soon as I've completed my performance, I can pick this up and drag it straight to my timeline. So now I've got my steps that I've recorded. If I want to edit these in audio by hand, I can do that straight away. And you start to see that this workflow um, applies to all of the different categories that are in the free version. Uh, you'll see that each, each preset we load has a different simple set of controls, but there's always this shared DNA that it's really intuitive and easy to get started and easy to just get performing high quality sound. Okay, so we've got some footsteps. Let's lay down some cloth foley. So um, using my XY, had pit, XY pad here, I'm gonna do some jacket cloth foley. Okay, great. Some nice little some little swipes there that might come in useful. Again, I'm going to pick that up and drag it. Drag those straight out of the plugin. They can be edited straight away. Of course, this can also be set up for automation, and you can perform all this stuff directly in sync to picture as well. Okay, so my little other X pad up here, X Y pad, sorry, is um, controlling what cloth layer we have. So at the moment, we've got a blend of jacket and bag. So if I move this full to bag. I'm just hearing back. Um, let's say our character, like in my thumbnail here, is wearing a leather jacket. Uh, let's add some keys into their pocket. And again, let's pick that up and drag it out. Cool, okay. So another use case that can be performed really easily with the plugin as well. Um, you can also use MIDI input into the plugin as well to trigger these things as well. Um, let's do some whoosh or transition sounds. Moving on to um, a hybrid whoosh here. I've got a different layout again. So now, quickly by clicking and dragging, moving through this XY pad, we'll generate a whoosh. And then as soon as I've done that, I can pick it up and drag it to my timeline as well. Um, so let's say we've got a scene with a fire whoosh, like Indiana Jones moving a fireball around. Again, I can sort of sketch a performance like that really easily. If I just want a single fiery wish, I can do that. Drag that out as well for safekeeping. Maybe I want it to be a bit slower. And I can use the extra XY pad here to change the, the feeling, the timbre of this. So let's move up to the, the big fire. So there's quite an airy, whooshy type of fire. Let's say I'm going to want this to be a little more sizzly, a bit more sparky. I can do that. I can now blend between the different layers to design all sorts of takes on that idea, using the plugin almost as a kind of audio sketch pad, performing all sorts of different ways of approaching this this preset, this particular collection of um, elements and performing them at high speed and getting them straight into your into your timeline. Okay, so that's a really quick demo of how Crodos Studio is working right now and the things that are included in the free version. You get, um, as we looked at, some ambiences, um, collection of ambiences, footsteps, simple set of footsteps, simple set of cloth foley, and then various types of wishes as well. Um, there are elements of the plugin that you may click on that may not do anything. This is to be expected. You know, we're building this product out step by step. We want it to get it in your hands as soon as possible. So if you click on a use case here that isn't included right now, you're going to get this pop up. You just dismiss it um, and you're good to go. So, yeah, thanks a lot.